Hi, the purpose of this video is to walk you through assignment four to Power BI assignment, create Power BI charts for key attributes. Okay, let's begin. I'm gonna click, so I'm here in Brightspace, I'm in module four, I'm at the assignment level, I'm gonna click on requirements and rubric. And basically what this is asking you to do is take your Superstore Excel workbook that we connected with our VDI network. I'm gonna go there in a minute. And we're just gonna create a pie chart and a column chart using the data provided to us, okay? So as you can see here, I'm gonna go, as you can see this tab here, I'm connected to the VDI network here provided by SNU. And I have opened up Power BI and I've actually loaded in the MBA 504 Superstore Excel workbook, okay? So again, pie chart by, pie, pie chart and bar chart let's begin okay so simple enough you can see you have your visual so i'm on my uh sheet on my page sheet here and i have some visualization icons here on the right side i'm going to click on pie chart and a pie chart visualization appears and like the other microsoft um platforms and applications whatnot you could just drag and drop make it larger or smaller so that looks like a good size for now again just a simple introduction to making a couple visualizations using power bi okay so i'm going to go ahead and i am going to select region okay uh, but nothing appears so blank but so i gotta do some kind of math it has to you know i gotta i gotta collect a i gotta select a field that's gonna let me do some some math and i'm always interested in sales so i'm gonna click on sales and again this is my preference and there you go so now i have a pie chart simple pie chart showing each region of the superstore and it's a specific slice showing each of the regions um sales information okay as you notice how i mouse over it shows me the sales numbers here in actual percent okay all right so we can we can change some stuff around here so let's begin now uh, as you can see over here there's an icon it's like a looks like a little paintbrush here <laughs> it says format so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna scroll down here and let's see if we have some settings here and we're gonna, oh, oh, it's a little tricky here but it's okay we'll get through it Legend, I'm going to turn the legend off. I'm not a big fan of legends, but again, it's a personal preference. And I'm going to go ahead and click on data colors, and I can change the colors. So it actually lets me change the different colors, like the West region. Maybe I'll make this shade of blue. Okay, and I can continue to scroll down here. In the central region, I can make a different shade of blue here. Oh, we'll keep it that shade. South region, I can make a different shade of blue. And then finally, I can, uh, we'll keep the other regions the same shade of blue. So my point is you can change the different shades here. Um, detail labels, I can click here, for example. And let's see what it shows here. It shows here a particular data, value, and percent. Let's click here what our options are. I could do category, and I could do all detail labels. Let's see here, as you can see, kind of changes. A little hard to read, but we'll fix that in a minute. You can see it has the the region and the sales and the percentage. I kind of like that. I, I'm a big fan of the labels, okay, and showing all the data on labels. Again, a personal preference. Color, let's pick and select a color for the labels. We'll do blue, let's see. And then let's see if we could change the, ah, there we go, the text size of the labels. Those here, when I, I increase the text size, the labels here get larger on my visualization, okay? and there you go we'll just keep we'll, actually we'll go we'll keep it at let's see we'll go to 18. okay cool so we have that and let's do one final look and feel change here um i can change the font family if i want to as well but again we'll kind of keep it the same here and i'll click i'll i'll click here and then let's go down the title here and again, sales by region. Yeah, that sounds like a good title for this. Uh, but why don't we do this? Why don't we, again, I'm, I'm all about the specific title of the visualization. So we'll say Superstore dash sales by region, okay? So um, we'll scroll down a little bit more here.
title heading can actually change. We'll, we'll keep it at heading three. And I could change the font color here. And maybe we'll make it, maybe we'll make it a shade of red. Why not? Okay. And I can center it. Here, align it. And I can also, again, change the text size. We'll make this larger than the text size of the pie charts. We'll make this, let's try 36. Yeah, that looks great. And then obviously I can go down here to a particular font family. And we'll select this font family. Okay, great. So now we have a pie chart based upon sales by region. It shows the region. It shows the actual number and a percent. Okay. So I can go ahead. I can click my focus. I'll go back to the report though. And what the um, if I go back to the requirements of the um, assignment, it basically wants you to create the pie chart, take a screenshot of it, and put it in Microsoft Word documents. Let's go back to here, and I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click the snipping tool. That's my favorite tool to use for screen grabs. I'll go ahead and just highlight this area here. And now I'll click on the copy. I already have Microsoft Word open, so I'll go here and I'll do a paste, and there you go. And I could save this as a PDF and submit it. And it's also, I can even add a couple notes if I want to, um, you know, talk about, you know, again, the, the highest and the low. Maybe I want to cite the highest and the lowest sales region, okay? So great. Okay, so good. That concludes this video. I'm creating a simple pie chart using Power BI in our Superstore Excel workbook. Thank you very much for watching.